Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first six commandments, and now it's time for the seventh, Thou shalt not steal. We've discussed what it means to steal and how possessions are supposed to work according to the will of God. This week, what about vandalism? Does that violate the seventh commandment? In the past, we've been speaking of stealing as an action which causes harm to people through the misusing or taking of possessions. In this respect, it seems that vandalism is not quite the same thing. When you vandalize someone else's property, you may be mishandling it, but the harm done to the owner of the property doesn't come from you actually using it, much less from you taking it away from them. Nevertheless, it can't be denied that harm can be done to property owners through vandalism by diminishing the value of the property, and that harm clearly comes through the actions of the vandal. When you commit vandalism, therefore, you're doing harm to somebody else's property, even if you may not be able to profit from it in any way yourself. The Catechism says, just after paragraph 2409, that intentionally damaging the property of others is illicit, but again, like wastefulness, it doesn't say the action is a grave sin. So for the moment, my conclusion is that acts of vandalism are never okay, but are most likely not mortal sins. Next time, what about our own property? Is it possible to violate the Seventh Commandment with just that? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.